Hello there, you're watching Afternoon Live on Sky News. Our top story, Colonel Gaddafi, has addressed his supporters on Libyan state television as his forces continue their counter-offensive against the rebels. The Libyan leader warned that thousands of Libyans would die if the US or NATO intervened in the country. He said Libya would open its doors to an international investigation about the regime bombing civilians. Well, let's talk now to a documentary filmmaker who has an extraordinary insight into Colonel Gaddafi's life and state of mind. Dr. Hala Diab joins us live from Bristol. Afternoon to you. Um, tell us uh, about your meetings with Colonel Gaddafi. Uh, I met Colonel Gaddafi in 2007 um, during our um uh, trip to Tripoli uh, to film a documentary on the Italian occupation of Libya and we met him uh, in his uh, tent in Sert, his, um, uh, where he's originally from. Um, the meeting was about two hours and um, it was extraordinary in a way that it was uh, like uh, strange in, in the way that he t deal with us or treated us. Um, he, he is a very, um, he, he has this aggressive uh, ca character, uh, but yet he has some kind of power over people. Um, uh, we, we had to meet him on, on that night uh, after a long wait, like we waited in the hotel for one month in Libya, and then uh, when, when he decided to meet us, we, uh, they called us uh, um, uh, at 4 o'clock uh, a.m. in the morning to go and uh, meet him. Um, well, when you say some of his behavior was strange, what sort of things did he do? I remember that uh, that's uh, when we were uh, I was uh, presenting uh, the part of uh, of the script to him and I think he was taking some notes and um, he was writing um, and then the pen didn't work so he just uh, really threw it literally to the wall which was behind me and smashed it and I found that very um, uh, threatening and intimidating in a way uh, especially that we were his guests and we were in the tent on his uh, invitation. I know you didn't make the documentary documentary that he wanted you to make about his life, he, his legacy, uh, because you said that you thought he played mind games and he had erratic behavior. What, what sort of things w do you feel were influencing you in not deciding to take up this job? Um, my track record in TV industry, working in the Middle East, uh, inspiring young people for change and for a better future, uh, I think doing the, the, the documentary or making the documentary in his life, uh, it will really affect my credibility and uh, the, the, the way uh, and my ideologies of a change, my belief in, in liberation and the change and better future for the Middle East. Um, uh, I mean, having ruling the Libya for 41 years um, with no uh, giving an opportunity to Libyan people for elections or change, I think that is not what our young Libyans wanted. And by immortalizing this person, I think that I'm not, I will not be giving the real truth to the young generation and to the young Libyans. Did you get a sense that there is a, a certain vanity about Colonel Gaddafi? Uh, I think I, I will be very frank. I think vanity is 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 something has to do with more uh, our uh, culture. Um, mm -hmm. It has to do with the pride. Uh, but I think yes, he is. I mean, reading I read some of his books and the way he he even, even sometimes he questions Quran and he questions um, uh, religion uh, in a way that yes, he is very uh, arrogant uh, in the way he puts himself across. Dr. Haller, do you think he will ever leave Libya because of the current unrest? I mean, um, knowing he, the, the state of mind and really work, working with that person, I have uh, doubts that he will leave. I think that he knows that this is a transitional moment in the history of the Arab world and the whole world. Uh, and I don't think that he wants 
to be uh, remembered as the leader who flew away or who really defeated, as he said in one of his interviews. He wanted to be to change into a legacy, and I think he will prefer to die in Libya, or to be killed in Libya by people if they do that, than to run away. Dr. Haller, um, some of the TV addresses, we saw one today, it went on for, for over an hour at this conference that he was at, are rambling, he says some bizarre things, he makes some bizarre uh, facial expressions. Uh, do you think he is of sound mind? Um, I, I, I think that uh, we can't judge his uh, mental stability or state of mind at this point. Uh, but I think that maybe he is, you know, when you live for 42 years as a powerful man, it's so difficult for him to believe that people will protest against him. People don't want to be him as a leader. Maybe, yes, maybe he is experiencing the shock and he doesn't want to believe it and people around him feed feed this ego. Um, and also seeing the interview of Saif Gaddafi, his son, he's still um, saying that he's he denying what happened in Libya. He's denying what media uh, has uh, exported to, uh, to, to people. He denied the truth. And, he, and this, I think, created a kind of confusion in the way Colonel Gaddafi is presenting himself to the world. Uh, one final point, you, you mentioned the sons there, are, are they the main people that Colonel Gaddafi trusts? Are they his, his closest allies in the regime? Um, Saif at certain point uh, was uh, was doing a lot of things uh, uh, to take the lead in Libya. Um, I'm not uh, quite sure whether that's really. He didn't say that when 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 he has been asked in during the interview. He said he didn't have any intention or a plan to rule Libya. While uh, you know working in Libya, see and working closely with with uh, with the with the family in Libya. Uh, Gaddafi, uh, so um, yes, uh, the son of Gaddafi, Saif, he tried, he, he launched a TV station which is called Mediterranean, uh, through which uh, uh, he tried to uh, promote himself as maybe the future leader of Libya. And also his father banned this uh, TV station in Jordan, and then he tried to open it again in London, and then his father banned it. Also his, his father banned a lot of uh, media work uh, that he did in Libya. So there was a tension, conflict between Saif and between his father, uh, which Saif Gaddafi actually has denied in his latest interview. Very interesting. Uh, thank you very much for your insight, Dr. Hala Diab. Thank you. You are.